collectors and Transformer fans. Once again, it's the one and only Optibotomus coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, they see the absolutely incredible contributions from the folks over at Hasbro, who were kind enough to provide this figure to me to review for you. We're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Point Break. For the package on this guy, very, very cool. Uh, I should also mention that he comes with his Target Master Peacemaker. And you can see them in their alt modes right here. Absolutely gorgeous looking. Of course, you got the Transformers tax with the Generation logo, the open package. Meh. Come around to the side. You got images of Point Blank right there and then a more pullback image of them. On the opposite side, you got other figures that are available, which are all looking pretty darn cool. Come around to the back. You can see that Peacemaker transforms in two steps, but Point Blank transforms in 17 and you got images of both of them in their robot and alt modes and then if you really want to you can uh, scan that little qr code get the bio for these guys but for the packaging that is about it so without further ado let's get them out here and see how cool they actually are all right guys so here we have point blank with his target master buddy peacemaker opened up out of their packaging and obviously in their alt modes and I, I think I messed up before. I think I referred to him as Point Break. Sorry, I just had watched the Avengers movie and Tony Stark's nickname for Thor was stuck in my head. Now, originally a part of season four of the uh, American Transformer series, Point Blank went on to have a more prolific role during the Headmaster series originally aired in Japan, which was not a series I really got too much into. I have seen it, but it's one of those ones where... I just never got into it too much. But as you can see, you got this really nice kind of futuristic car form that really does look cool. I, I, I totally dig this. Colors are really nice. You got this beautiful red and this very nice light blue going throughout it. You got that on the little cockpit section here, the little spoilers, even his rims for his tires have that. That looks really cool. And I can't tell, it almost looks like that's just silver paint going around the rim of the headlights. That's really cool. I like that little bit of detail. For his accessory though, he does come with Peacemaker. Uh, this is his Target Master and a lot of people have kind of complained about this because a lot of the uh, kind of Target Master style figures that we've gotten before are a whole lot more involved, I guess you could say. This isn't bad, um, but as you can see, he's fairly small. He transforms into this gun. To transform him, you rotate this back, and you fold this section back. And here you have Peacemaker, and that's it. There's no articulation in him. Uh, some pretty decent paint details, but... That's it. And like I said, a lot of people complain about this because a lot of the more recent Target Masters that we've gotten have had a lot more articulation in them. So this really is kind of a throwback to that G1 style Target Master. I don't know if they did that deliberately, um, but it, it is a point uh, of kind of valid concern. Uh, why would you go back I guess maybe if they made a more articulated one, it would probably increase the price point in general on this. And keeping it at the deluxe price meant having to do something like this. I don't mind it terribly, but I do understand people's complaint about why this is so simplistic. It isn't something that bothers me too terribly much, though. But when you take it off, you can see you got a little gap right there, but you get a little bit more of that silver paint that you can see a little bit better as he tabs in. One thing I will say, though, is... It's kind of weird. So this sits down and it, it kind of uh, almost looks like it's straight on there. But when you put it on here, you got these little tab sections. You just plug it in. It then ends up making it look like he's going to be shooting the back of that. Uh, so you kind of have to angle that back just a little bit. You can see there is some play in there. So you can angle it back so he's not going to be shooting the back of himself. But, you know is what it is and that's all that it is you know we're just gonna go with it what now we can't even transform this guy oh no that was because i was doing it the wrong way come on paul it's two steps how difficult is it to transform there you go uh but the car mode looks really nice i dig them that combination of red and light blue looks really cool now his transformation is very unique uh it is a little bit fiddly to kind of do but i like what they did with it it, it is different which is really cool Come around here to the bottom. This is usually how I do it. Now, a lot of times people transform things differently. This is just 
my way way of doing it. Um, I kind of like just detaching these and kind of rotating these down just a little bit. Do that on this side as well. Just kind of hang those down for right now. And then you can take this whole cockpit thing and you can lift this up. And uh, it kind of kind of sits there. It kind of feels like it's pushing on something. It's really stiff there. So it almost feels like it's not meant to go that far. But really, that's the only way to kind of do it. So kind of just get that out of the way and then lift this. And that's one of the problems that I have. Uh, these little pieces like popping off. So detach that, rotate that around. So again, detach that. If that pops off, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But there we go. That gets up there really, really stiff. And then if that popped off, just it's just not a ball joint, so it's not uh, overly critical. Uh, but pop that back on there. Then you can take these, rotate these down and around, put them along the side pieces, and then take the feet and you just fold that down, just like that. Super simple for the transformation on that. Rotate him here at the torso. Kind of get that down and out of the way. And then these arms are really interesting. So you want to bring these down, get that out of the way, and you're going to rotate them around like that. And then come around here to the back just so you can kind of see things a little bit better. You want to take this piece, kind of pull this, rotate that back, bring the head up. Just going to sit that right there. Bring this up. We'll play with that here in a second. Now, these arms, I always kind of remember, or I uh, forget kind of how to do it, but you want to kind of rotate it up. And then bring this down. Yeah, well, that was easier than I thought. So just get that down like that. So again, kind of rotate this up. Bring that down and around. Rotate that. This is going to be the front of them. So then rotate these there. Bringing that around towards the front. And then take this. You got little uh, posts here. That lock in here doesn't really do too terribly much. Honestly, it's not that tight of a, a friction joint. So just kind of sit that there. Kind of sit that. And like I said, I mean, it, it sits there, but doesn't really do anything. This you can kind of do with however you want. You can um, hinge this down and you know, just put that down there. But yeah, like I said, that doesn't really sit in there all that well. Kind of straighten all this stuff out. And when you're done, there you have point blank in his... Uh, Robot mode. And you know, again, uh, despite the fact that I don't really have any interest in the character or any kind of attachment to him, the toy is still actually really pretty good. Transformation does get a little bit sticky in some areas like you could see, but it's relatively manageable. For Peacemaker here, you can obviously use him as a gun as uh, he would be intended, uh, so you can do something like that. I do kind of wish that they made it, they, they like doing these different homages to the various uh, series that a lot of these figures come from. Uh, and I kind of wish that the hand could be somehow incorporated with him plugging this in. Because in the original uh, US series, he, he held them. But a lot of times in the Japanese series, Peacemaker would actually attach to the uh, the arm itself and the hand would kind of like move out and you kind of could do that because you got the post right there but there's nowhere really to attach it to him so that is kind of unfortunate uh, but the overall look and the design of the figure is pretty decent uh, he definitely has a weird style to him but it is fairly accurate and I can appreciate that Coming in to uh, take a closer look at the head sculpt here, some people have complained about it because it doesn't really follow suit with what they what they're used to seeing. But I think that it still looks really good. Very nice silver paint, gorgeous uh, blue there for the eyes. Got a little crest there in the middle. That's kind of cool. I like it. Obviously, he has these big giant shoulder bits, but again, it's accurate to how he looked. Got this really nice clear chest in the center. Uh, I'm trying to. He doesn't really have an Autobot logo anywhere. Um, I, I feel like he should have an Autobot logo there. Uh, I mean, his forearms here have the Autobot logos on it. But, you know, the rest of them kind of is uh, voidless for it. But again, you got the very nice uh, blue and red color throughout the entire figure. It all looks really nice. You got that going down here with the legs as well. I really like how the little spoilers here kind of flare out. That's kind of cool. He does get very thin though and that's what one part that it, for some reason it bothers me i i don't i don't know why but he is really kind of thin coming in uh, i mean the, other than this piece here kind of um helping to kind of 
put a little bit out there. Um, he's just very flat, kind of. But it also kind of looks like he's shifted forward a little bit. Like, you can see that with, like, this back section here. It just looks like the rest of his body is kind of shifting forward, especially when you have the chest piece here. So it looks like it's off balance. So it, it kind of weirds me out a little bit. But the general look on him is still pretty good. And again, I have no attachment to this character, but the toy is still pretty decent. Uh, first articulation, the head uh, is on a ball joint. One thing that I will say, though, is it really detaches very easily from this. So I really wish this clipped in a whole lot better, uh, but it just kind of rests in there. So it, it will more than likely dislodge when you're playing with it. Shoulders here, uh, they do have a swivel going in and out. Also, they kind of hinge at two points. This one right here and then this one. So you get a good range of motion. He does rotate at the elbow itself and then does get a little bit limited in terms of the articulation going forward. You have this big giant nub right here, which is basically the front of his car. That look, it's just there. So you, you don't get a 90 degree range of motion. It's more uh, 45 or so. Um, you, you get more of a bend going backwards than anything else. So that that's kind of weird. He does rotate at the waist and then of course the hips are on universal joints so you can move it forward move it all the way back move it in and out he can rotate at the upper part of the thigh itself you have a bend here at the knee ankles do well you got the toes that can move forward and back but then you also have the ankle tilt but again i i kind of wish that they were able to uh incorporate some of that filling stuff because otherwise that just looks weird uh, so I, I like it when they put that in there uh, I understand why sometimes they can't, but it is definitely something that I wish they could do more of. Uh, Size-wise, obviously, he's a deluxe size figure. So for a couple of comparisons with some other deluxe size figures, here are some from the Studio Series line specifically, uh, just to kind of give you an idea that he actually gets to be a pretty good size deluxe figure. Whereas Braun here is a much smaller one, Ironhide is a little bit more average, Point Blake actually gets a little bit bigger, almost to the point where kind of is a Voyager size. I mean, Starscream here obviously is a little bit taller, but you can see that he's he's a pretty good size uh, little deluxe. I, uh, I absolutely love that. It's like, you know, good for you. But uh, first transformation, uh, fairly simple, but again, a little bit tricky here uh, with these arms. So first, what you're going to want to do is, uh, well, come around here to the back, separate this, pull this away, and tuck that down. Then take the head and rotate that down like that. You're going to bring this up, and this is going to come around towards the top section here. Let's get that. Well, I'll, I'll fiddle with that here in a second. Kind of get these out of the way. Rotate these around. Let's, there, there we go. Now we can, oh, wait, wait well, hold on. Put that there. Bring that there just like that now this is going to come around but like these arms do get a little bit tricky to kind of do uh so you want to kind of bend and basically you just are going to feed this up and around and i i never can remember the right pattern sorry i'm, I'm dropping stuff uh so let's see like up there something like that i i know i'm sure there's an easier way and you guys are probably going to complain to me about it but eh, there we go all right you just got to loop it around there and then kind of rotate that around. That's going to swing in like that. So again, this side, you uh, you bend this, you, you bend, hold on, let's see, you're bending, you're lifting, you're folding in, you're playing uh, you know, Rubik's Cube with, bring that in, sandwich that, collapse that, squeeze that together very nicely. Then you want to take this piece, you want to, again, lift this up and just separate that from the body. And then these, you're going to rotate around and just kind of tuck these down here for right now. They're going to come up and lock into place, uh, but it does get, again, like I said, a little bit tricky to kind of do it. Uh, you want to straighten out the feet, rotate them here at the waist, and then fold this up and in. And then again, you, you kind of, these, these bits here do like popping off. I'm not the biggest fan of those, but kind of put that there. You got to tuck this underneath this section. Kind of put it right there. Do that on this side as well. And then, like I said, kind of get these out of the way. Bring these down and around. Bring this over. And you kind of like just squeeze that in there. And then that's going to sit down like that. Get that nice and flush. And then this part here does get a little bit tricky just in terms of lining things up. So you have a little tab here. 
and on the underside that has to come up and lock in these little bits. So get that there and then bring this up, kind of squeeze that, there we go. Bring that down like that. Do that on this side as well. Again, bring this down, come on. I'm afraid that that's gonna pop off. I, I'm sure it's going to, come on. And there it goes. So get that on there. Yeah, I don't I don't like this little area here. Did I put that on backwards? I might have completely put that on backwards. Yeah, that's gonna go up here like that. So put that there. And then you just slot that in right there. Give this a push along the side. Get that flush. Again, kind of squeeze everything. So like you can see, I mean, the transformation's not hard. Uh, it, it just does get a little bit fiddly because you're kind of moving things around and it feels like other things are kind of bumping in the way. So it does get a little frustrating. All in all, I think that the figure is a good one. Uh, I do understand the complaints that people have, especially with Peacemaker here. Uh, when, when you're looking at a lot of the other Target Masters that we've gotten recently, he does definitely fall short of those. And it is unfortunate, but I'm okay with it. It really does kind of give me an old G1 vibe. And I'm okay with it. I'm sure other people are not going to be. But I don't mind it really all that much. Vehicle mode wise, I think this guy looks terrific. He looks exactly how he needs to look. Uh, he is a very good, accurate representation of how he looked in the cartoon and such. Transformation does get a little bit fiddly, but I really like what they do here with the arms. That's a really cool sort of sequence that's fun to do. The legs and these little side bits here really aren't that fun, but you can see that it's it's manageable. It's just not uh, fluid because it bumps into other pieces. In robot mode wise, I think it looks terrific. I would say the biggest downfall on him would be uh, the articulation in his elbow. That's a little that's a little limiting, but all in all, it's a good toy. So for me, as somebody who doesn't really have any kind of an attachment to the character, I more than likely wouldn't have bought this if Hasbro didn't send it to me. I'll be totally honest. However, I am happy that they did because I have enjoyed playing with this toy. Now, ultimately, is it going to find a place in my collection? Probably not. I'm more than likely going to do a giveaway on this guy. But it is still a good figure nonetheless. It just doesn't fit in my display, which is perfectly fine and totally normal. Not everybody has to collect every single thing. But all of that being said, if Point Blank is a figure that you would like to add to your collection, he is hitting various retail locations right now. So if you are looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, you can do the real simple thing and go online to places like Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, or even Hasbro Pulse. For all of those places, I'll pull links right down there in the video description, where you can swing by and check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformer figures. Once again, I want to send a huge shout out to the folks over at Hasbro for providing me with this figure for review. And as always, friends, please remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching and taking the time to be a kid.